Last September, I grabbed my camera and met up with Occupy Wall Street as they were marching on the stock exchange. I wanted to film the cops. Why? To see if I could show what protesters had been saying for years. That the NYPD suppresses protest with questionable tactics. So on that morning, I followed the march as it made its way towards the stock exchange, only to find that the route forward had been blocked by the NYPD. That's when I first encountered Captain Gardner, one of the leaders of the police response. Folks, you're blocking pedestrian traffic. Continue to block pedestrian traffic. You will be placed under arrest. Known in the vernacular as a white shirt, Captain Gardner is the commander of the Brooklyn North Task Force and is described as an expert in crowd suppression. Suddenly, the protesters began hopping up and down. And the press photographers moved in. Then, behind me, the police responded by making an arrest. Did she do something wrong? That's not really the point. For the police, what's important is that other protesters see this arrest and fear it might happen to them. At the same time, other officers drive the demonstration onto the sidewalks. Anyone that hesitates is arrested. These arrests proved to be part of a larger pattern, borne out over the course of the morning. When the protesters built momentum, the police would respond with a calculated display of force. This was intended to neutralize and disperse the crowd. The police claim they take such actions to enforce public safety laws. But are these protesters really a menace to public safety? Look at the white shirts on the left-hand side of the frame. They're about to try and grab someone out of the crowd. When they can't get the person, they play it down. If that person were really a threat to public safety, would they have given up so easily? The protesters move on. But the police catch up again. Here we see an activist rallying people for an action. Okay, so here's how we're going to take the intersection, all right? We're going to take the light, and then we're going to call go. We need some people on cars, and we're going to make a big circle. We'll go around and around in a circle, okay? And we need a couple people on cars. Who can be on cars? And here come the white shirts again, quick to break up the gathering. This action fails due to intense police pressure. Seconds later, a photojournalist is arrested. By now, the crowd is feeling hunted and anxious. This is a peaceful protest! This is a peaceful protest! This is a peaceful protest! Look who came in riot here! Look who came in riot here! This is a peaceful protest! Peaceful protest! They came in riot here! They came in riot And the cops are relentless, again driving the protesters away from Wall Street. Let's go, guys! Get a corner! Get a corner! Go! Let's go! What just happened here? They arrested somebody. They arrested somebody? Okay. My name is Sergeant Medina. You are unlawfully obstructing pedestrian traffic. I am ordering you. My name is Sergeant Medina. If you refuse to leave, you will be arrested and charged with disorderly conduct. Let's go, let's go, let's go. With the police successfully chasing off the crowd, I decide to head back towards Wall Street in search of other groups. Within minutes, I find them. Along with a protester, wise to the tactics of the NYPD. I know they split you guys up, so I hide the facts. Yo, photographers, you need to get the fuck out of my way right now. Seriously. The march now had energy again. Take it. 
which meant it was only a matter of time before the police made another arrest. Look on the left side of the screen at the man with the backpack. Notice how the police don't immediately arrest him, but leave him on the ground. Fellow protesters then come to his aid, and the police arrest them too. Again, the police have used the spectacle of arrest to dent the momentum of the protest. Undeterred, the protesters continue towards Wall Street. And here's Captain Gardner again. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to keep moving along the sidewalk. If you do not move along the sidewalk, you will be placed under arrest. Now watch as he calmly summons a group of officers to follow him. Keep your eyes on the right-hand side of the screen and watch him go into the crowd to make an arrest. This is now the second man I've witnessed being arrested while on the sidewalk, again wearing dark clothes and a bandana. Is this coincidental? Or are they looking to arrest a particular type of person? This man watching the protest happens to be Paul J. Brown, spokesperson for the NYPD. And on the day before the demonstration, he predicted, quote, a relatively small group of self-described anarchists will attempt unlawful activity and try to instigate confrontations with police. That makes it sound like the NYPD has a very clear idea who they're looking for. As the protest gets closer to Wall Street, the audio barrage intensifies. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to keep moving along the sidewalk. Keep moving. Do not block the sidewalk. Keep moving. And the protesters do their best to stay moving so as not to get arrested. But Captain Gardner continues grabbing people from the crowd. Again, it's a man wearing a hoodie and a bandana. Minutes later, Captain Gardner is in the crowd again, looking for his next arrest. Who will he pick this time? Watch him tap the blue shirt on the shoulder, indicating who he wants arrested. Again, a man with a beard and a dark sweatshirt. I realized for my own safety that I needed to step back. But as I backed away, hands grabbed me and threw me into the scaffolding. My camera spun around to film my own belt, and my face was pressed against an officer's shoulder. Don't put your mouth near him, because I swear to God, I'll break your jaw. Oh I'll break your jaw if you bite him. I fucking will kill you. Dude, you I will I will fucking break your jaw if you bite him. Wow, you guys are look friendly. Take him out that way. Take him out that way. Why are you hitting me? Why are you hitting me? How? Why are you hitting me? Nobody's resisting. Nobody's resisting. Stop moving. Who's moving? You. Tell me about, show me where I'm moving. God. And just like that, I became arrest number 10. As it turned out, over 185 people were arrested that day. I used to think I had the right to film or protest in New York City. And as the laws are written, I still think I do. But in practice? Not really, it turns out. Not today. Not in this town. Six. Six right here. Six. 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 Six
that uh, the guy in the helmet right okay, there. Okay, I'm gonna have to.